Forklift inspections are required at the beginning of each shift, both inbound and outbound. Every operator should be able to inspect their forklift. As we break down the inspection routine, it may seem extensive. The truth is that every aspect of this inspection is necessary and needs to be implemented with your personal routine every time. On CNG and LPG powered lifts, assure the tank is secure and the tank bracket mounts or straps are properly fastened or locked to prevent movement. Also ensure tank is properly positioned on the locator pin. The fuel delivery lines and hoses should be in good condition and show no signs of excessive wear, fraying, kinks, pinching, or binding. For units equipped with a Smart Start Fuel Safety Switch, make sure it is in place on the fuel fill connector. Look to see that the grill is secured and in place to protect the muffler and helps to maintain the unit. Visually inspect tires for cuts, gouges, missing chunks of rubber, rubber separated from the rim, excessive wear, and tire bond separation. On the drive axle, look for missing lug nuts and signs of oil leakage. If lugs are missing or you find significant leakage, notify a supervisor. Be sure to look all around the wheels for banding, plastic wrap, and other debris which may have become wrapped around the axle. If any debris cannot be removed safely, notify a supervisor. Inspect the lift chains and make sure they are securely anchored at the top of the mast. Make sure they are lubricated and not damaged. Look at the mast and make sure the roller and welds are intact, lubricated, and show no signs of damage. The carriage should have stops present, have no sign of damage or bent areas, and the welds are intact. Hydraulic lift and tilt cylinders should show no signs of hydraulic fluid leakage. Also inspect the cylinders and attachment points for any damage. Side shift models have an additional side shift hydraulic cylinder attached to the carriage and parallel to the top of the carriage. These additional hydraulic lines running inside the mast to the cylinder must too be inspected. Ensure the fork lock pins are in place. The forklift blades or forks should be equal in length and matched. They must be straight and their tips are in good condition and not worn, cracked, or burred. Looking at the overhead guard, ensure that all welds are intact, there is no significant damage, is firmly attached to the forklift, and has no loose bolts. If any items appear defective, report them to the supervisor immediately. Seatbelt must be in good working condition and show no signs of excessive wear. Also check that the buckle has a good proper lockup. Every time you mount your forklift, you always must maintain three points of contact. Grasp the handle on the overhead cage with your left hand. Grasp the seat grab handle or the steering wheel with your right hand. Place your left foot on the step. While maintaining three points of contact, watch your head as you pull yourself up and into the forklift. Once you are safely seated, fasten your seatbelt and adjust the steering column. Seatbelts must be worn at all times when operating a forklift.